Hey you guys, it's Bree Simulated here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and playing part 9 of Eco Lifestyle. So, it has been a hot minute <laughs> since I played with this pack. I actually play with it a lot off camera, like I play with the Eco Lifestyle pack very, very often in my game. Like I use the solar panels, I play in this world a lot. So I haven't fallen completely out of touch with it, but I will be honest, I haven't played with this family since when I filmed the last part and it was probably quite a while before that, you know, like actually. I didn't even realize that she was pregnant. <laughs> so anyway, I filmed an episode of Journey to Batu today as well. And oh, Annika is so beautiful. I filmed an episode of Journey to Batu with our new male ca character who is the scoundrel. And I talked about in that part, just in case you didn't watch it, I'm going to summarize. I talked about making this family uh, with Reese and Annika the one that goes to the snowy escape world. So they're going to go ahead and head on over there and be the ones who who visit that world and who go there on a vacation. And my plan is that if they love it enough and they love their vacation there, they might live there. I'm not sure if you can buy like a holiday home there. and It'll be more like they holiday there for fun. But I want to I want to do something like that. And I'm really excited to do something like that. So what we're going to do is we are going to work very, very heavily towards getting them enough money to go on a holiday okay off camera i've been playing with this family i have so many current households that i want to film for you guys because i'm actually playing with many 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 different households off camera that i haven't shown you guys and i sort of just flicker between the the two okay let's go ahead and knit a beanie but i've been playing with this family off camera where they live in the woods and I'm pretend I pretended that like the girl was in some kind of accident. She wanted to like be away from society because she didn't trust people anymore and she just wanted to be with her cat and her dog. And she lived a really simple life off the land, completely off the grid. And she is a complete freelancer. She doesn't go to work. She doesn't interact with humans. She fishes for all of her food and grows all her own fruits and vegetables. She washes her clothes by hand and hangs them out to dry. And the only interaction she has is with is with her cat and dog. Until one day, can I list this on Plopsy? Yes, I can. Okay, let's list it on Plopsy. Yay. Okay, until one day, she goes ahead and has to take her cat to the vet. The cat gets her really, really sick and she admits she can't treat it herself. Her cat's at risk of, you know, getting really, really sick and possibly dying. So she has to take it to the vet. So you actually got bit by a squirrel because I had this pea bush and the cat kept on jumping into it and getting bitten by the squirrel. And anyway, I was like, oh my God, I don't want a cat to die. And so we went to the vet and we met this really cute vet and we ended up being good friends, she went to the vets a couple times after that with similar squirrel-related incidences, and every time she was actually really happy to see him, which was really different to how she felt before, which was that she didn't want to have any human interaction, she didn't want to to see people, she was really upset and like hated people and resented them and felt like she couldn't trust anyone, but now she was in the position where she was like, even though she obviously didn't want her cat to be sick, it was like, it's okay to risk going out and seeing other people because that guy is really, really cute. And I love this couple so much. They're so cute. Um, anyway, so that's basically what happened. They, She would always go to the vets every time her cat got sick, even just a little bit now, even if the cat was just a little bit sick, she would be heading on over to the vets like straight away because she really liked seeing this cute vet doctor cat doctor person and he ended up being a good friend of hers they got along really well she was quite awkward at first like she didn't know how to flirt and he was kind of like yo like I'm not receiving this well he didn't like oops can we not get in the bath okay let's just have a shower then he didn't receive it well at first but then as they got to know each other more he came and visited her house one day for Thanksgiving or oh, what's it called in the sims Anyway, I should probably save this for the current household episode. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it. 
But what was the point of that? Oh, the way that she makes money is solely on Plopsy and holy guacamole, she earns a killing from, from Plopsy. So that's my intention here with Annika. That's how we're going to earn lots of money is we're going to earn it through Plopsy. Sorry, I didn't mean to like spoil the whole current household, but that will probably be one I won't film for quite a while anyway because um, because I only – I have so many. I have like maybe three or four current households that I want to show you guys that I've like teased at before. So that one will be like the last one because it's the most recent and it's the one I'm still playing with. I've only played maybe about 10 or so hours in that save. So yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a little hint of that one to look forward to it. And the main reason why I was talking about it at all was because I was mentioning Plopsy is actually quite a good way to earn money. You can list paintings on Plopsy. You can list knittings on Plopsy. Lots of stuff. And it fits in well with her freelance freelance crafter career. The only thing is it does cost a bit of money to get off the ground. And it can take a couple days sometimes for the stuff to sell. That's why I find the best way to to get it up and going is just to have a lot of things on there at once and then that will increase your chance of selling something every day usually she only would sell one thing a day at best but i've only been playing with her for a couple of weeks so yeah that's why i find it's best the more things you have in your inventory the more chance that someone's gonna like something enough to buy it so you know that's my intention here as well Okay, let's get them to sleep. Their mood and like emotions and whatnot is all over the place at the minute. I'm not quite sure why that is, but they're not doing too hot. Okay, clean up that. Can you please have one more bite to eat? I think it's because they're mostly eating like not very good quality food, so it's not really filling them up very much. Okay, let's go to bed. I'm loving their house at the moment, by the way. I want to put another ladder in going directly into the office soon. Does he have work today? Yes. Go to work, my dude. Okay, let's have you sleep for just a little bit longer. Okay, now it's time to wake up and head down. Okay, so Reese is kind of earning like the big bucks by being able to go to work every day and work hard. He does need to get his skills up though. So that's what's stopping him from getting a promotion. So I should probably work on that today. But at the moment, I think we're mostly focusing on having that baby. I don't think anyone left name suggestions in the last part. Um, I might check. My my dad wants to come over, I think. Okay, let's wake up. Okay. Is that my dad? I think so. Go ahead and talk to him. Okay, ew, that sink needs to be cleaned. She actually has kind of low social, so I think that was really good for her to get to chat to her dad for a bit. But she mostly needs to to shower, clean that sink because it's filthy, and then have a bite to eat. Can we get her to actually cook some proper food? Let's get her to cook a garden salad because, oh my, oh my. Hey, buddy, got a minute to help me with some recyclables? Sure. Do it. I'm sorry, but I'm actually cooking right now. I'm really starving and I'm pregnant, so if you want to do that, you can go for it, but, like, I'm not going to talk to you till after I'm done my salad, all right? <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, what are we doing? Sitting down here, then we're going to get up and talk to him. That sounds reasonable. Okay. So, yeah, main goal of this part is for her to have the baby, which I think she certainly will be having, and to start listing some stuff on Plopsy because that's ultimately the way to go is what I've learned. Let's go ahead and pack away our salad, go to the bathroom, mop up that puddle. Oh, she needs to go. <sighs> and we're going to clean up this mess. And then let's go ahead and knit some more beanies. I think we've done the first three. Let's do the green one. My intention is for her to make all the beanies probably before she even sells one. Like, that's just probably how it's going to go. Oh, my God. Reese is just coming home absolutely wrecked every day poor thing and he's not even getting any promotions why does he he needs logic skill and he also needs to interview some people do we have a chess table or is that something i was planning on buying okay let's go ahead and buy a chess table for our boy reese okay we're going to go ahead and put it oh this is expensive this is why i didn't buy it before because it's quite pricey damn do i have any chairs i could fix no these are bar chairs aren't they Damn, okay, we might just have to get one chair for now. 
Because I feel like all the other chairs are going to be way too expensive. These chairs are cheaper, right? Let's just get... Oh, no. We can afford this. Let's get a set of chairs. Okay, there we go. Once you're done sleeping for a bit, my dude, why don't you go ahead and grab a bite to eat and watch some telly? Is this my dad back again? Um, yeah, hey, dad. What's up? I'm just knitting a beanie. <laughs> you could just call out. Maybe we can't hear him because we're in like a metal chamber. See, she's already level three. It is so, so easy to get that up quite quickly and start earning some serious cashola from it. Oh, her dad's going to feel her belly. This is going to be so cute. Let's have a watch. Oh, my God. So cute. So cute. Oh, he's so excited. You can tell. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and list that on Plopsy. Okay. We've got quite a bit going on the Plops market, which is good. Oh, we just became good friends. That's so cute. But I'm really hungry, so I hope you don't mind if I go eat something real quick, Dad. And then we're going to go to the bathroom and go to bed because that's about the mood that we're in at the minute. Let's get him to get up and have a bite to eat and something to, so they can be awake at the same time. Oh, our dad's enjoying our new chess table. Good. At least someone's enjoying it because Reese probably isn't going to be in a good enough mood to enjoy it for quite some time because he's feeling quite upset at the minute. What's this? Oh, I guess that fulfills her making thing. Like knitting also fulfills her making need. That didn't get his fun up very much at all. If he wasn't so tired, I'd have him go down and play chess with his, her dad. But he's quite tired. Yeah, he does. He's only got Saturday and Sunday off. Okay, dad's heading off. Thanks, dad. Have a good night. Stayed here quite late. I think maybe he's hanging around hoping that we'll have the baby while he's here. I've got a little toddler bed here. Oh, this is really, really cute. Oh, no, this is broken. Snap. She's going to have to repair that in the morning. Because otherwise we're not going to have enough water. Okay. Let's get him to wake up. Go to the bathroom. And he's needing some fun. So let's go play some chess because if we can get to it in time, it should help solve that night on the town don't know if we quite have enough money for that let's scavenge for some parts and pick up the trash hell yeah all right then she needs to go ahead and eat let's get her to serve up maybe some fruit salad that'll help get her hunger up and help her increase her need he needs to go to work in one hour okay he's got logic skill level one so hopefully that'll help him at least get his performance up quite a bit <gasps> She's gone into labor. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. While making her fruit salad. Okay. Let's just pretend she's in like really, really. She's like, hey, Reese, I'm feeling like some, some contractions. I'm not feeling too good. And he's like, well, do you think you're going in labor or what? I've got to go to work and earn us some money. We've only got 200 simoleons. She's like, yeah, I, I think I'm okay. I'll call you if I need anything. All right. Off he heads to work. And then she's like, hmm, I'll just finish my fruit salad and and then see how I feel. <gasps> but I don't think she's going to make it until he gets home from work. I think she'll be popping out this baby pretty quickly after the salad. Where did the rest of the salad go? Where did she put it? Did she already put it in the fridge? Did I put it in the fridge? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, there's fruit salads in the fridge. I don't know why I thought it wasn't. Okay, she's like, I'll just do some dishes. I'll just clean this. She's like just trying to keep herself busy, keep herself entertained. She's like, wow, I really need to go to the toilet. Oh, and that sink needs repairing. Uh, confess an error. Let's cover it up. Damn it, we lost some performance. I thought that it was going to help. Okay, damn, it's always better to be honest. She's just trying to keep herself busy so she doesn't go into labor while Reese isn't here. Because she knows that, like, he needs to work and get that money. Oh, no. She's having it in the living room. Okay. Okay, Annika. Damn it, we couldn't hold the baby in any longer. I mean, who would have thought it? Damn it. She's about to give birth in her living room. Like on one of those shows where they don't know they're pregnant and they, like, give birth in a gas station bathroom. <gasps> it's a girl! Oh my god, I don't know what to name her. Okay, let me just check, see if anyone left any comments. 
Okay, on the last part, there were some comments. But none about the baby's name. I just want to thank Melissa and Emma for leaving comments. Thank you so much. I know Emma was really looking forward to a new part. So I hope that this fulfills everything that you were after. <laughs> um, but nobody left a name suggestion. So I'm going to come up with my own. Oh my god. I think I want to call her Journey. I think I want to call her Journey. I can't remember if... Reese's last name is with or without an E. I think it's without. <laughs> I'm not sure though. Okay, let's do Osborne Lee as the last name. Journey Osborne Lee. That sounds really good. And I think it's a commitment to Journey to Batu. Just a little hint, even though they like aren't in the same world. But like a hint to the journey that they've come across. Did I spell his last name right? Yes, I did. Okay. Osborne Lee. Okay. <gasps> so cute. Little baby girl. Oops, I'm inside the container door, okay. So cute, she gave birth in like the living room. <laughs> I guess it would be pretty sterile because it's like metal, I don't know. <laughs> not that I recommend giving birth in a shipping container, but uh, sure it's not the first time it's happened. Okay, let's go ahead and feed, let's change the diaper, let's cuddle and rock. Reese is gonna come home and be like, honey, I'm home. And she's gonna be like, I had a whole baby while you were at work. What did you do today? Did you get a promotion? Because you better have. Okay. Let's go ahead and knit some more stuff. Let's knit. Uh, we did the green one last, right? Let's do a pink one. Oh, that quality was poor. <laughs> the rest are all pretty normal. I feel kind of bad about selling the poor one, but you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do to make that money. We've got a baby in our living room now, so <laughs> don't really think that we can can judge. Okay, let's go ahead and put the baby next to Reese's side of the bed because <laughs> I think he would really appreciate that. He can deal with it. He wasn't here when the baby was born, so that's what he can deal with. Then we'll go ahead and let in... This girly here. What's her name again? I forget. Tina Tinker. Aren't we good friends with Tina? Yeah, we are. Tina's like our biffle. Okay. Nope. Drew. Was that Drew Gooden? Did that say Drew Gooden? <laughs> I think his last name was Gooden. Wow, that one was poor too. Damn it. Okay. I mean, let's still, let's still list it. I don't see why not. Let's go ahead and water all of our plants because they're looking kind of dead. We need a nap. Tina, do you mind taking care of my baby for a bit while I go, while I have a nap? Yeah, I do want to hang out. Let's talk about my dreams. My dreams are that I get to have a nap. Can you help me fulfill those dreams, Tina? Tina, will you let me please go have a nap? Oh, Grandma's here. Okay, let's go ahead and greet her. Okay, back down the ladder. Back down the ladder. Okay, then we're going to go up and take care of our baby. Hi. Oh, my God. Let's share a secret. Hey, I had a baby today. <laughs> so she's a great grandma now. Oh my goodness. Let's go up and see the baby. It's got a dirty diaper. Let's change it. Let's feed it. And then maybe grandma and Tina together can take care of the baby and allow us to have a quick little nap because uh, yeah. it's clearly not going very well like this. Okay, baby, you lay down. That's what babies do anyway, right? Okay, and then Reese came home. Okay, Reese, come up here and talk to your baby. <laughs> He's like, Annika, where are you? Oh my god, you had a baby? Why didn't you call me? It all happened so fast. Oh, cute. He makes such a good dad. He does need to kind of shave though, okay? I'm not gonna lie, Reese, you kind of need to shave there, my dude. Not looking the hottest, okay? Then let's get him to tinkle and then go downstairs and play some chess. Oh, he's far too tense. Well, get over it, my dude. You're going to have to get over it. Go ahead and play a game on your phone or something. I don't know. Get over it because you need to get your chess to skill up. You've got a baby now. You need to get that sweet, sweet promo. We're not going to make all our money off of Plopsy. That's very evident. <laughs> We're not doing so hot on Plopsy. Nothing's sold yet. Okay, let's go down and play with your... With your partner's grandma we're engaged right with your fiance's grandma and then you can go ahead and deal with your needs then Annika deserves to deal with her needs more she just had a baby in her living room okay 
I should really get going now. You don't want to play chess with me anymore? Maybe we were winning. That's probably it. I bet that was it. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up all this mess so our baby isn't living in filth. And then we're going to go ahead and grab something to eat before probably heading straight to bed if the baby doesn't interrupt us. Yay, he got logic level two. That's all he needs for a promo, right? Okay, he is set for a promo Monday morning, which is great. That's all that we need. Let's go ahead and grab some leftovers. Annika probably came in here to eat while... <laughs> while he was playing chess and then he got up and left straight away oh but he's coming out here yay they're sitting together having dinner she looks kind of po'd about it but <laughs> cute they're spending some time together that's good reese you can be the man in charge of the dishes all right your girl is absolutely exhausted and if the baby wakes up with a dirty diaper you're going to be the one to clean it okay reese that's just how this works all right let's go upstairs oh Baby's awake. What's it need? A diaper change. That's Reese's. Reese's name is on that diaper. All right, then let's go to sleep. Let's rock it. And then, yeah, let's go to bed. It's bedtime. What a good little adventure we've had here with this family. I'm really... Oh, the the cradle's in the way. The bassinet's in the way. Okay, fair enough, Reese. Let's just pretend it's not because you don't want to be woken up by the baby, all right? We know the truth. That's maybe woohoo. They both need a little bit of fun. I mean, I know she just had a baby like today, but you know, <laughs> it's the Sims. It's not quite the same. Let's go to sleep. All right. Let's sleep through the night. <gasps> Somebody wants to purchase our beanie. Oh my God. Rabbit band stand. Oh my God. There's a fly in my face. Five, six, three, four would like to purchase our blue and white plopsy thing. Oh my God. This is going to be the best news Okay, let's go ahead and ship it. See, we made $53 from that beanie and we only spent like 20 something on it. Okay, you're going to have to go ahead and bottle feed the baby because she needs to ship this Plopty beanie right now at 1 a.m. Did she do it? What's wrong? What's the matter? Can we not access the, the, the mailbox? There we go. What about now? Go over here. Oops, don't bike there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just walk there, please. Okay, let's go ahead and ship it on Plopsy. Yay, we shipped our first item. We got $53. Woohoo. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to sleep. Reese, come on, my man. You put the baby back to sleep. Good job. We shipped our beanie. <laughs> now it's time for bed. We're probably going to, I'm probably gonna, just going to film for another five or so minutes. Going to be filming for about 30 minutes each part from now on and just seeing how we go. All right, we've got the weekend off. <gasps> Another beanie has been purchased. Okay, I'll let her sleep <laughs> this time. Oh, the baby woke up anyway. All right. Why don't you go ahead and list that beanie? I mean, ship it. Okay, dirty diaper. Reese, still got your name on it, my dude. Go back for a little bit more sleep. It's only 6 a.m. Okay, see, now she's earning like $50 a pop. And it really does sort of, like, once the ball starts rolling, it has some momentum. We've already earned $100. We've probably earned back everything we've spent on, like, material so far, which is great. But I'm really excited for her to get into Plopsy because they need to earn enough money to, number one, we've got to find a bedroom for this house. I mean, a bedroom for this baby because this house is not really very kid-friendly at the minute. And, yeah, we need to, we need to figure this out. Because it just said the baby wants to grow up to a toddler. And once it's a toddler, it's going to be a lot harder to take care of. Oh, my God. Someone in her family passed away. I've honestly forgotten her family member's name. Who was Gash? It was her grandfather. Oh, no. Her grandfather passed away. That is such sad news. Oh, yeah, here comes her mom. Okay, let's let her go to the bathroom and then we're going to invite in our family. Oh, we couldn't go to the bathroom because Reese was going to the bathroom. Typical. Ah, they liked their beanie. That's good. Reese, have a, have a shower, my dude. Oh, our mom's here. I bet she's here to meet the baby, but also like quite sad about the loss of him. 
Yeah, you can tell she was really sad about it. Let's maybe go ahead and invite over some people. Can I invite multiple people at once? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's go ahead and invite over all of her family members that are still alive. Okay, I think that's everyone that we can invite because our mom's already here. We're going to go ahead and invite some people over uh, to hang out. And maybe we could go ahead and make a some free BLTs or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and invite Tina in. And we're all just going to have a bit of like an event where we all where we all chat. And why is he so mad? <sighs> I guess maybe there's a bit of a family dispute at the minute. I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and invite everyone in, chat with everyone, get to know everyone a little bit better. And because I bet Reese, Reese hasn't met any of these people. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get to know everyone in her family. And the baby needs to be fed, I think. So once we're done with that, we're going to go greet everyone. Let's uh, go ahead and call everyone to this meal, maybe. That could be a good idea. We're all just going to enjoy some food. Okay, there we go. Everyone's enjoying some food. Reese is going to go take care of the baby and then have some food. And this is really sad, obviously, for her to lose a family member. But, I mean, it's also good everyone's over here to meet the new baby. Oh, look at this little scene. Everyone hanging out in the shipping container. And they're just hugging. Oh, this, this is honestly really sweet, you know. Because maybe it was something that they'd been expecting for a while and it's like... You know, obviously it's really, really sad, but at the same time, it's like they were expecting it. They'd been like mentally preparing for quite some time. It's just obviously always still sad when it happens, but <sighs> yeah. Okay. This has been a good, good part. What's this? Oh my God. We're about to get some money. Okay. Money, money, money. Give me now. Okay. We must get married. Doesn't she have the get married thing as well? I think she did. I think we already did it, didn't we? Okay. I think we're going to get married in the next part. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll wait until the baby ages up because I think it's almost the baby's birthday. That way then it can be in the wedding. Like I could put it in a cute little toddler dress and stuff. And we're going to get married tomorrow. Okay. Our family is starting to head off. It is quite late. They probably need to go like make dinner and stuff. I totally get that. But let's just go ahead and clean up a little bit. We're in great mood, so maybe I'll get Reese to continue practicing his logic skill because that is something that he needs to do for work, sort of just like continuously. Um, but yeah, it was really great for her to get to hang out with all her family and meet up with them, especially because they had a loss in the family. That's always very, very sad. Oh, they love our beanie. That's so cute. Okay. Do you want to visit again? Didn't you just leave? <laughs> no offense, but didn't you just leave? Okay. Let's see. What can we replace out here? Anything helpful? We could actually replace quite a bit of stuff. <gasps> she gave us a gift. What has she given us? An eco upgrade part. Wow. Thanks. I love it. Okay. Let's maybe maybe go ahead and just do some knitting with her because that seems to be quite lucrative, if I'm honest. Let's go ahead and knit. We got up to the pink one, didn't we? Let's do teal, orange, and white, uh, and then we'll be good. I wanted to knit a baby onesie before we age up the kid. That's why I'm not aging it up and having the wedding right now, and I'm going to do it in the next part because I really want her to be able to knit a baby onesie, but I'm not sure at what point that happens. But Tina, why don't you come play chess with me? It'd be great to have someone to challenge me. Okay. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we might be able to knit a baby onesie before, before it's time for the baby to age up. I mean, we're going to have more babies in the future. That's very true. So I guess it doesn't really, really matter. Reese got his leveling, his skill up to level three, which is great. That'll really hope help him with his thing. Let's go ahead and can we interview her real quick? Uh, let's ask her about her career. We need to interview homeowner about utilities. Can I do that with her? Interview about utilities. That'll be really, really helpful for him to definitely get that promo. And I think she's about to get her skill up. So if we can knit a 
baby onesie beanie. That'd be so cute. We're still playing chess. I was like, why can't I click on it? Okay, we knitted that one. It looks like we're definitely about to get it up. Let's list that on Plopsy real quick. And then we're just going to knit one more beanie. And then we've knit all the beanies that there are to knit, which is really cool. Uh, let's do that. Then we'll see once we level this up. We can now do floor rugs. Oh, we can't do any new beanies. I mean, any new clothing yet. I think the baby onesies are pretty high up in the skill. What level is she? She's level four. I think it's like level six or something. The sim I've got at the minute has like fully maxed out their skill and they can do the onesies. I think one of the last things they could do were the toddler clothes, I think. Oh, we got one um to sell, to sell. Okay, let's just go ahead and take care of our baby real quick and feed it and cuddle it. Okay, let's go ahead and ship on Plopsy. That one sold for 66. That's pretty good. And then we're going to list this one. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to sell the poor ones, but I mean, it's worth having them on there, I guess. Let's go ahead and ship the one that we sold. There we go, and list the one that we just made. Okay, now we've, like, listed and sold every single type of beanie, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Maybe next time we'll work on the socks, and we'll see how we go from there. I think we're just about done playing chess and talking with Tina, honestly. Let's get him to go to the bathroom, have something to eat, and Annika's doing it in the reverse order. And then I'm going to put them to sleep and end this part. In the next part, they're going to be going ahead and getting married. We're going to work on her knitting all the socks next. So next up is the socks. You've got all of these. Whoa, there are a lot to do. Maybe I'll do some other fun stuff for the house first. We can knit some plants. We can knit her a new mailbox. I've actually had a lot of fun with this. And we can knit some rugs. Let's, let's certainly do that next maybe rather than doing all the socks because I know that that'll take a long time. But I do eventually want her to like knit everything and have the things that are most lucrative for sale, if you know what I mean. But we need to repair that toilet. Damn it. Okay. All that's going to take place in the next part. Aging up the baby, knitting some more, listing on Plopsy, and getting these two lovely, lovely, cute people married. Because I want them to get married and have some kids and have a beautiful home and earn lots of money because then they're going to be going on vacation in the snowy escape pack more than likely <clears throat> if you have any name suggestions for the next baby we'll probably have them in a couple parts time but until next time i hope you'll have a very snazzy day and i'll see you all soon bye guys